Hey y'all. <clears throat> oh wow, that's my morning voice. Hey y'all, welcome back to Adventuring with Amanda. Thank you so much for being here. So this is going to be a shorter video and I am showing you how I make my coffee and now the cheaper way <laughs> that I can do that as well. So this is my new Gas One Butane stove. It's the mini version. And every morning I start out just by pouring my water in my mug to see how much I need so I don't waste water when I make my coffee. So I do that. And then let me put this to the side here. Oh. And then once I have my water, I put that in my collapsible silicone tea kettle here. This bad boy's lasted me over two years now. <clears throat> okay. I'm still getting used to my, um, my new butane stove here, but I love it. It boils the water so quickly and it's nice and stable as you can see. So I've been using pour over coffee now for almost three years, but this cheaper way has changed my life and I can't take credit for it. I have to give credit to my friend Sarah because she's the one that introduced me. So this is my little coffee box. I keep my little coffee and stuff in here. So Sarah gifted me recently with these brilliant pour over coffee bags. And I was like, oh my God, I didn't know you could get empty pour over coffee bags. So what's great is that a pack of six Kuju pour over coffees was costing me about $15 just for six, right? So it's like two and a half dollars uh, per cup. But you can get 50 of these pour-over bags, these empty pour-over bags, for $10 on Amazon. So you just put it in your mug like so. That's how, that's how pour-over works, right? So you just put it on. So, so you can get 50 of these bags for $10. And then you can buy any ground up coffee of your choice. I love the Don Francisco's. This is fairly inexpensive, but it's very tasty. So, you know, this will cost you what? Six, seven dollars. So you open your bag. Now I tested this just to make sure that this was going to be an okay coffee to use with the pour over. And then I put my little spoon in it. So now I'm just going to spoon some coffee into my bag. However much you think is appropriate for you. grounds everywhere. So what's nice is you can make it as strong as you want, right? I think that's probably about good. <clears throat> and then I just put my spoon back in there and just close up my coffee. And now I can pour over my boiling water. So I did the math and because I was buying Kuju coffee several times each month and this method <clears throat> of purchasing these empty pour over coffee bags and using the ground coffee is going to save me about $125 um, per month, y'all. So yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot that I was spending on coffee and I didn't really realize it, but you know, when it's $15 just for 
six, you know, the same, I guess the same amount, you know, it's $125 savings. So, um, and the price went up on Kuju. Oh, hi, Bubba. So I'm going to get my water boiled here, should be shortly, and then pour it over. Okay, my water is boiled. So now all I have to do is pour it in. And that's all you do. So this is my new way of making coffee in the van, much cheaper, huge money saver, thanks to my friend Sarah to introducing me to these empty pour over bags because they are amazingly brilliant. Oh my gosh, and it smells so good. I'm so ready for my coffee this morning. I also feel like the empty pour over bags are a little bit bigger than a... Um, pre-packaged like a Kuju or even like the Amazon brand they're a little bit shorter so I feel like these are much better and just as a reminder too that you can get all this stuff on Amazon the collapsible tea kettle as well as the gas one butane stove this is the mini so it's only nine inches as opposed to 13 which makes a big difference um but now i'm going to enjoy my coffee so if this video was helpful to you be sure to give it a like subscribe to my channel and i will see you next time